Well, it's important to uh, consider how you're going to uh, handle the battery management of your uh, towed vehicle as you're towing it down the road. Generally, if you're using a brake system, most brake systems are going to take power from uh, the battery, which is going to eventually deplete your battery as you're towing down the road. Well, the cool idea is to take 12 volts from the uh, RV or from the motorhome and through a battery charger on the uh, towed vehicle, charge its battery and that's what this uh, battery charger that we're going to install does it's designed to charge as you're driving down the road in this project i'll be installing a towed battery charger from rvi brake that i bought along with my uh, rvi braking system and basically what this does is it takes uh, 12 volts from the coach from the motorhome and charges your vehicle battery as you're going down the road so that you don't have a dead battery so if you've watched my video on installing uh, the base plate, you'll know that I did a little bit of pre-wiring. Uh, basically what I did is I ran some wire loom from where the uh, connector is going to go for the uh, trailer wiring, which is where I'm going to get the 12 volts from. And I'm looking for a spot to put the battery charger. I could put it here and it would fit, but it's kind of close to this washered fill and I don't really want to put it there because you can get, might splash water on it. Another option is to put it up here but it might be a little bit away of this. This is the other fuse box. I could uh, velcro it to the top of the fuse box but then I'd have to be kind of mindful every time I took the fuse box off. We also found a spot over here that's kind of out of the way right in here and there's an then they give you enough uh, wire to go across here to the battery and I'll put some loom here and I can cable tie it here here and then I'll have to drill maybe a hole or two in the frame put a couple more cable ties so this doesn't get drooped down too far into the fan belts or touch the radiator or anything and so we decided to mount the uh, battery charger right here and this is on the passenger side Okay, you can get a better view right here. There it is. It should have enough cable to reach over to the battery that's over here. Okay, so we've got the charger right there. And then I ran a line all the way across here. And those are the positive and negative terminals that go on the battery. I have not connected those yet. Then I ran a wire from there down into the frame. And it's exiting out through here along with the other uh, five wires that's going to be the uh, connector. So now we're going to put the connector on. This isn't too bad of a wiring scheme. Um, I don't know if you can see, and you probably can't, but each function has is um, printed on here with a little arrow going into it. And I'm using uh, everything but the brake line, which is this one right here, that's not being used. Um, and so now all I have to do is shove this in there and then start assembling the connector here. And I, I got some heat shrink on the back that I'm going to help heat shrink it. Well, this is the pinout of the connector that goes on the front of the uh, vehicle. And you'll notice that the center pin is a 12 volt uh, connection. And even the ground pin, uh, shown by the white wire, is a heavier gauge uh, connector. And actually on uh, this vehicle, I made uh, that 12 gauge for the ground. And also ensure that the 12 volt wire is a larger gauge as well. Now you have to make sure that you have sufficient voltage to uh, run the battery charger. And that's why I've uh, upgraded the uh, wire sizing uh, for the uh, battery charger lead, which is the red one here. And then when I get to the coach side, I'm going to have to make sure that I run a wire probably uh, from the same pin to somewhere on the coach uh, using the heavier duty wire so that I can ensure that I have a minimum voltage drop along the wire so that I have sufficient voltage to run the battery charger. Well I have side post uh, battery and in order to connect the battery charger to that what I need to do is I, I found these little adapters here and this is what one of them looks like. This screws back into the battery here and then you got a little um, stud on the end that you can connect 
uh, wire so I'm going to put one on each side of the battery. So I got to put these um, terminals on because these I don't think are big enough. Okay now battery 101 I suppose. When you disconnect a battery always disconnect the negative first and then disconnect the positive. Then when you are reconnecting it connect the positive first and then the negative. So negative off first negative on last and the reason you do that is because this is that negative potential. All the metal. And if you had a wrench here and you hit a piece of metal while the wrench is on the positive terminal and the negative was on the battery, you'd have a direct short. So that's a safety issue. So always off first, on last, on the negative side. One of the things I didn't like what this manufacturer did is they used black wires for both positive and negative sides to the battery. Uh, the blue terminal is positive and the yellow terminal with a black stripe is negative and I suppose the black stripe means negative which is a little bit lame and what I'm going to do since I got to replace these terminals anyway because they won't fit uh, the posts I, I bought I'm going to put some red heat shrink on here so I can clearly identify which is positive and which is negative well this is why I hate working on cars just nothing is easy uh, this boot actually goes into uh, where this terminal is here but I could not get this off because uh, you can see where, where I cut around here. If you look at the other one, um, it kind of goes over that knot. Well, the problem is you can't take, well, that's on there. You can't take this off, which means you can't put that on. So I got to pull these boots and modify them. I tell you, nothing, work on a car is not easy on anything. I, I'm, I just, I'm glad I don't work on them for a living. So now we've got the uh, battery posts uh, connected, the adapters. These are the adapters here, negative on that side. Positive on that side, and I was able to modify it a little bit to get the cap back on, which um, the cap was off anyway when we got the car. And if you have a top post battery, chances are the cap's exposed anyway, so I don't know that makes a big difference. This project is over. I can now start Charge my batteries, I'm driving down the road in my motorhome.